Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I apologise. Um, I'm bringing you the rest of the Christmas Exploding box. Um, I can only but apologise. When I was filming, my camera was telling me that it was recording up to 30 minutes. So obviously I just carried on. Um, I uploaded my video as normal. Um, I don't check them because I, I don't have time, to be honest. By the time, you know, I, I do so many videos and cards and everything else. Um, so I don't check them. Um, and it was obviously only until you lovely ladies made comments to say that it just ends. Um, that I was quite surprised. So yeah, I'm going to bring you the rest of this now. I'm going to be totally honest with you. This actually went in the bin. Um, not because it, there was anything wrong with it. Just that I very rarely keep my projects. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of <laughs> earache for that too. But I just don't keep them. Um, so I dug this one out of the bin. It is a little bit bent and um, battered. Uh, and the insides have fallen out. But on the whole it's okay. Um, I have just added a little extra piece of basic white here to cover the mess. So that I can just show you how to finish it off. So um, I've just quickly made up the little drawer. Because I know I got as far as making that. <clears throat> excuse me um so we'll we'll go as we were from there so you've got your little box that will sit nicely in the center here <clears throat> excuse me then you need your outer so let's do it so your sleeve as i've called it is oh, i forgot to put my phone on silent there we go um so my sleeve is three and eleven sixteenths by five and three quarters. That's nine point eight by fifteen point three centimeters. I'm gonna score on my trimmer just because I have um, some odd measurements. So on the short side, we're going to score at half an inch, and I my scoring blade keeps falling out so I just leave it out now so I don't lose it and I just use my scoring tool from my scoreboard so you need to score at half an inch and two and one sixteenth of an inch and that's one and a half and five point six centimeters rotate anti-clockwise and then you're going to score again at half an inch two and one sixteenth three and eleven sixteenths which I'm fairly certain is that one yeah and five and a quarter and in centimeters that will be one and a half five point six nine point seven and thirteen point eight okay fold and burnish your score lines I will try and make sure in future that my videos don't go over 25 minutes, which seems to be the, the better time. Okay, so once you've done that, you then need to do some cutting. So first of all, you've got your thin strip at the bottom here. So on these side panels here, you're going to take a notch out of the top side there. And we'll do the same on the other side. Okay, so you've just taken notches off those corners. Then you're going to come down here. So you need to notch this side of the top one. And then you're going to cut all the way down to the score line. Once you've done that, we are then going to cut across here. Because we just need this to be a small piece. And then we're actually going to trim, this, uh, sorry, give a wedge to the center bottom thin part here and wedge this part here okay so you're actually left with that so we're going to repeat on the other side so notch to there and then all the way down cut across here to get rid of that and then notch there there and there. So you're now left with that shape. Okay, with your, in fact, let's just use some Seal Plus just because it's a bit quicker. 
So add some to those two tabs there and that creates your box effect. Okay, and then fold these in, but you might want to just trim the wedges just so they're not quite as bulky. And when you put this flat, they don't overlap. So therefore then you don't have as much thickness of card. And then I'm gonna have to use wet glue for this, just a glass of juice out of the way. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add some wet glue onto those three tabs. Pop your box in upside down, okay? Because that will give you some structure to hold it. Bring your flat exploding base part in and then you just simply fold this over and pop it wherever you want it to go. And then I'm just going to put a gentle bit of pressure on it just for a couple of seconds just to hold it to let the glue do its job. And then obviously this then will then pull out as a drawer but you obviously need to give that time to um, dry. And then for my decoration, I simply added these gorgeous gold holly leaves and some red rhinestone basic jewels. And I just decorated the top and then put some jewels down here. And then as you can see, I've already done my embossing, stuck those on. I don't recall which bit I did and which bit I didn't. Um, your cards slide in these two pockets. And then I just did my sentiment for the lid and it all folds up and you pop your lid on. Now mine is extremely squashed and battered because of it being in the bin. But that is how it goes. Sorry for the confusion. Hopefully you will be able to follow on now and make your cute exploding box. <laughs> Yet again, just another Sally blunder. They're just brilliant, aren't they? Thank you anyway, guys, and I'll see you all soon. Bye.